Hey everyone, Matt Nomadic Native back with you. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm talking about TV and how we um, how we get TV in our RV when we're on the road or when we're camping, boondocking, what have you. When we bought the uh, RV, it's a 2004 Winnebago Site Sear 35N. Uh, when we bought it, it was about 10 years old and it had old tube style TVs in it. A, uh, I think it was a uh, 25 inch big tube TV in front, big heavy one. And there's a tube TV in the bedroom as well, but it's HD ready, HD TV ready. So I don't know, I may change that one out as well, but I did change out the one in front and I'm gonna show you how I did that. And I've gone and bought one of these King Jack replacement digital HD TV antennas that uh, replaces the crank up antenna, the wing guard on top. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. Um, up until now, we've had direct TV for both our house and our RV. We got lucky because we had two boxes in the house and the second box was the right type that I could take it out of the house and we could use it in the RV with a, uh, a uh, dish antenna that I bought and I'll show you what that looks like uh, but the cost of that has gotten to be over the years over hundred and eighty dollars a month and uh, well we're just fed up with it so I'm going to show you what we're uh, how we're going to solve that problem and go from paying over hundred and eighty dollars a month to paying less than twenty five and getting all the TV we can handle so let's get started. So this is the King Jack digital HD TV antenna that's going to replace the one on top of the roof. So we have the antenna. has uh, two TV and two antenna on it. This is the power inserter for the antenna. This will be the power supply, 12 volt power supply for the antenna. You can see that there. You get several different kinds of mounts. Uh, you can mount to a pole, you can mount to a roof line, different kinds of mounts. This is the only one that we're concerned with. Got little lock washers to go with uh, nuts. You see little lock washers there. So that's all there is to install in this thing is the two pins and two little snap rings. Take the old one off and put this one on and you just connect the cable. So after I took the flat pedal back down, I stained it using uh, golden oak stain. Came out, uh, well, golden oakish. Of course, it's not a complete match to the wood that's already there, but uh, yeah, I didn't really expect to be able to match the wood that's already there 100%. And being a little bit darker is fine. 
thing behind the TV, I guess. So, anyway, that's how I did it. So, I hung the TV back up, and that's what it looks like. This is all the stuff that I'm able to remove from the RV since I'm uh, changing out to a flat screen and making some other changes. That's the old Batwing style antenna that I took off the top of the RV and replaced. As it turns out, I didn't have to use the power inserter that came with the new antenna. The Batwing antenna that I took off the top of the roof, it had to have power as well, 12 volt power. Our coach has a 12 volt power supply for that antenna built in, so we'll just use it. Okay, so in this video, I've shown you how I changed out the, the big TV up front, that old style tube TV that was really heavy. And I've shown you how I changed out the, t the antenna on top of uh, the RV to a HD TV antenna so that we can get the free HD TV over the air or off air channels, I guess, anywhere we go in the nation. In the next video, uh, I'm going to cover how we do Wi-Fi on the road and how we're able to get Netflix and Hulu into the coach uh, and how we do all that to, for about you know less than $25 a month and save over DirecTV, which was costing us about $180 a month. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you watching our videos. If you haven't subscribed, we invite you to subscribe and follow along. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments below. We'll see you soon.